today's vlog because I feel like I really enjoy like doing like weekly vlogs and just like filming my weeks for you because the next video there's always something that I kind of want to update you guys on in the house or like hauls or anything really so I'm really enjoying it and I hope you guys are too I feel like this is a really weird angle so I have some house updates to share with you guys today my footstool has just arrived and I'm so happy about it. Honestly, it is so much better than what I thought. But now I need to get a new chair because my chair doesn't match. So that is next on my list. But it's just little things like this that I'm really enjoying. Obviously, I know everything that's going on in the world. I'm not blind to it. Obviously, I've had personal stuff going on with COVID and stuff like that. But I want my videos to be quite lighthearted and little things like this lift me during the day just a little bit and i hope it does with you guys too and i know you always say that you love how it's a distraction and stuff like that so yeah also how excited are you for june like ah, i literally can't wait in the uk that is when we are basically free um so yeah very exciting stuff but yeah i've got some house updates i really want to share with you guys the ensuite like officially show you guys um, all like the accessories that I've bought and like the actual marble and bits and bobs like that and my footstool I've also got a haul that I want to share with you and um, so yeah I'm excited anyway I feel like I need to show you guys this footstool up close and um, just so you can see what it's like and um, yeah 
So this is my new footstool in my beauty room. I'm obsessed with it. The colour is absolutely stunning and I feel like it goes really well with the prints. I basically wanted something in here to break the room up a little bit. This bit was always very airy, which was really good, but I really wanted something in the middle and I'm honestly so happy with it. Um, so it looks like this. I got it from myfurniture.com. I'll put a link to this exact one in the description box down below because I love it. Like, can you see the bottom here? Like, I'm literally in love. Um, I want to get rid of this table because it just doesn't go. But yeah, so thank you so much myfurniture.com for sending it to me. And um, this isn't sponsored, they just really kind of gifted it to me. And I'm so happy. I really want to get um, the matching chair now for here because this chair doesn't really go with that. Um, and my office chair over here is the same colour as this. Um, so do you see what I mean? I feel like I kind of need to get rid of the grey and just add the beige in. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. I'll leave a direct link to it in the description box down below in case any of you guys wanted to pick it up because I love it. And Bradley was just lying on it earlier like, oh my god, this is so nice. So yeah, I'm so happy. I'm just obsessed. Like, how did I not have this in this room before? Do you ever do that in like your house? I'm literally in love with it. And honestly, it's so comfortable. I just keep like coming over and just sitting on here. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, so thank you so much, myfurniture.com. Um, like I said, the link will be in the description box down below if you wanted to pick this up because it is so lovely and it's a lot bigger in person. It looks quite small on the camera. Yeah, it's a lot bigger in person and I love it. So time to go downstairs now, bring in my tripod. Oh, I need my water bottle as well. I literally can't go anywhere, even around the house without my water bottle. Is anyone else the same? I feel like it's always just me. I always say this to people and they're like, no, I'd never do that. I've also just got a delivery from Misguided and Boots. So I think we should unbox that. Hi Luna, what are you doing? The weather's a bit gloomy now, isn't it? A bit rainy. Hello. Um, This is the Boots beauty i don't know if it's a beauty box i feel like it is but i thought i would unbox it with you because they always send me these and they're really good so i'm guessing that's all the products that are in them the dogs have just been outside but they want to go outside because the neighbors next door and um, the kids always poke their fingers through the uh, what's it called what's it called fence. the fence and they really like it but you don't want to be annoying, do you? Look at Luna. <laughs> you helping me unbox it? Are you helping? <laughs> Stop it. Um, so, oh, I think this is all hair care. So we've got loads of brands that I haven't seen before. So this is Scalp Exfoliating Shampoo. That looks good. This is a mask two minute treatment, I think. That looks good. Oh, I like this packaging. What's that? Oh, shampoo. That looks really nice. Quench and curl conditioner. I think my mum is going to really like that because she's got naturally curly hair. Sorry, Luna keeps leave. Good girl. Look, she's trying to get that. Um, my mum's got naturally curly hair, so I think she's going to really like that. Um, Mark Hill Hydrating Treatment for dry, brittle or damaged hair. That looks really lovely. Oh, I might use that next time I wash my hair. L'Oreal El Vive 8 Second Wonder Water. I've gone through a bottle of these already. L'Oreal actually sent it to me. Luna, stop it. Leave. Good girl. Just don't. Just leave it. Um, L'Oreal actually sent me this before and it is so good. Your hair just seems so much more repaired after using it. You use it in the shower. It literally feels like water, um, but you like massage it in your hair for eight seconds and then you rinse it out and your hair feels incredible. Um, Revolution Hair Care. Oh yeah, I've just seen Revolution have come out with their hair care. This is Plex treatment. Oh my God, this is like Olaplex. But revolution version. What are you doing? Oh, so I'm excited to try that. And then we have a chai seed curl defining hair treatment. So, oh, very lovely hair care products. So thank you so much, Boots. 
Do you like them, Luna? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you making me for lunch today, Bradley? Chicken salad. Oh my god, I thought I dropped something. Chicken salad. Yummy. This, Yummy. Isn't yeah, I love much prefer this one. Chicken salad for lunch. Four bits of these chickens. Lettuce and cucumber. Yeah, perfect. And balsamic. What have I got in my hair? Fluff. So have you. Look. Oh, look down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for making my lunch. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kiss Mark. Thanks. This is my lunch. I'm going to go and sit in my new favourite spot outside. Oh, really? Yeah, just I won't be it's long so eating cold. it. Oh, come on. Come on. We'll go up for a little bit just while I eat it. Thank you. This is my new favourite. I sit here with my salad on the swing. I can read. And you can put these. Oh, so now you're happy to come out. Yeah, oh, this will be well yeah, nice me. to read on. Won't it? Yeah, be relaxing. Especially when we get the cushions. It's a picture book. Okay, it is so nice to sit here on my stool, well, not on it, but like lean on it. I feel like this furniture was a piece that I never really realised I needed until I've had it. So I was actually going to get another one and it was like a round ottoman and I think it was a similar colour to this but it was round um, and it was really big but it wasn't in stock until April. So they were like, is there any other one that you have your eye on? And I saw this and I was a bit like, mm, this is really nice. I really kind of want one soon because I really want to like shoot sitting down and stuff like that, like mirror pictures. And I just feel like it just breaks the room up a little bit. So I was like, okay, this one. But do you know what? I actually prefer this one to the one I was going to get. So I'm so happy with it. Literally, like the color and everything is just perfect. So really pleased. I've just received an order from Misguided, so I thought I would share it with you all. I've tried to pick a lot of like spring stuff, a couple of gym bits and bits and bobs like that, just because I feel like it's so relevant at the moment, especially after the announcement a few days ago. I feel like everyone is just so ready for like spring and summer and I don't know about you but I feel like looking and shopping for spring summer clothes is like helping me because I'm like oh my god it might be long until we can wear it and I just feel like it's exciting and um, so yeah it's not wintry stuff at all I'm literally so over winter at this point that I just I'm really tempted really soon to all of my jumpers in my wardrobe to just put them in the garage because <laughs> so over it so oh my god I love this ah! so I got this really cute cardigan but it's got pearls on how cute in spring is this this is like the most spring thing I've seen it's got lovely puff sleeves oh my god I'm obsessed with this like imagine this with like off the shoulder or like with a cute little vest with like some shorts or like a cute little skirt I love that. Love spring summer. Oh, okay. So I also picked up this. Now this is like a dress, but I think I'll probably wear it more as a top, like tucked into shorts. So it does up at the front. Should I do it up at the front and show you? So it does up at the front across like the booby area. It's got lovely sort of balloon sleeves and it goes out like this. It's quite a short dress, but I think I'll probably wear this as like a top and then tuck it into like jeans or shorts. Or a skirt or something like that. I feel like my nose is really shiny. Is that better? Why is it so shiny? <laughs> Powder's not even covering it up. I don't know what's going on. Sorry guys. Sorry for my shiny nose. But I'm trying. Oh my god. I could so wear the last outfit with this really cute. I know shorts. Oh my god even better. How cute are these shorts? They're like floaty, perfect sort of style. 
love the colour and I feel like these would look so cute with like a cute little cami top on or that like dress that I just showed you but tucked in as a top. How cute are these? Oh I didn't know that this was brown. Hmm. I'm not sure on this. I feel like brown doesn't really suit me. The colour. It might but I feel like because my hair is brunette it sort of all just like <laughs> blends into one but we'll see. Um, so this is a really cute little top like a like bardo sort of top. Um, I do really like this. I feel like this would look really cute with like shorts in the summer. But I'm not sure on the brown. I don't know. It might look cute on. So let me know in the comments if you like that. I picked up my first ever pair of mum jeans. This is like a big deal for me. I've never had them before. And I'm not sure what they're going to look like on. I hope I got like a couple of sizes bigger. Because I've heard with mum jeans if you want like the full sort of baggier style. Go a few sizes up. So that's what I've done. So I'm hoping I can sort of cinch it in at the waist with a belt. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to look like yet. But I'm going to shoot with all of them tomorrow. So yeah, I want to shoot them in front of the mirror. And then also I think me and Bradley are going to go out at some point and take some pictures. Which would be nice to get some fresh air over the weekend. So yeah, fingers crossed they look nice. If I don't show you guys all the outfits on in this video, then they'll be over on my Instagram page. But I'll try and do it tomorrow for you, just depending on timing and work and i'm trying like to spread out my filming days um so yeah i'll let you guys know i'll let you guys know in the video oh i've got these really cute and cozy pajamas so this is the top how lovely are these love that so this is the top and then the bottoms look like this just straight leg bottoms oh they're cozy i might wear those tonight actually i love a new set of pajamas but then i also like to put them in the wash and then wear them okay this is probably the thing that i'm most excited for and the thing that's like got me so into spring i saw this dress and i was like oh my god i just need a spring wardrobe how beautiful is this so it looks like this and then it's got beautiful balloon sleeves it's got a slit i think it's got a slip yeah on the side um, but I just love this for spring. I'm literally so obsessed with this. I love the colour. I don't think I've ever properly worn yellow before. And I love it. Maybe I should try everything on. I might do it tomorrow. I picked up this beautiful sort of milkmaid dress. How cute is this? I love the colours. It's so spring. Again, it's got the lovely balloon sleeves. It's the really flattering sort of material. It's not silk. Um, and it's not too stretchy it's like in between but yeah i love that it's so nice looking at the floor at the color palette of all of these because usually like winter it's just plain like neutrals and blacks and whites and stuff like that but like there's so many pretty colors here it makes me so happy so this dress i feel like is a very versatile dress to wear throughout the whole of the year so it's the same style as the yellow one i showed you and it looks like this it's like marble print I love this. I feel like you could so wear this with boots and like a nice jacket in like the colder months or it's a really nice sort of really light material in the hotter months. It's a really versatile dress. It's so hard to show you guys because it's quite long. And then I'll also put links down below. So if you want to pick anything up then don't forget to check there. I picked up these really cute shorts. How lovely are they? I love how they sort of cinch in at the waist. They go out. I find these so flattering on and they look really lovely. They're so versatile. I like to personally wear these with like a simple top, um, a nice blazer or like duster jacket or something um, or even a cardigan. And then, yeah, they're just really comfy. But I really like the print of these. So I picked up a faux leather blazer which i'm really intrigued about it looks like this it's quite oversized looks really lovely on on the model i was like oh my god how nice is that so even like this with the shorts and like a plain white top or something would look so lovely and you can see on the back it's quite like fitted it sort of goes in can you see so i love that this is probably one of my favorite things from the whole haul and it is the same cardigan as the first one I showed you but in white how beautiful is this this is just me in a cardigan like I love cardies especially sort of creamy ones but the fact that it's got pearls on is just I love it so much and I feel like I'm gonna wear this 
all the time and it's so versatile for spring summer i feel like in summer especially in england it's like hot in the day but then in the evening it gets cold so like having something like this is just perfect it's so weird talking about the spring and summer i feel like it's going to come around really quickly so yeah i'm hopeful and i'm really excited to wear all of these lovely pieces i also picked up this fedora hat it's a bit oh there we go now this isn't usually a color i would go for it's more of like a khaki but i don't know what do we think maybe with like cute sunglasses it's quite big but i really like the pearl here obviously how cute what do we think or do i just look like a cowboy <laughs> i feel like maybe wear it like that what do we think maybe i need to curl my hair i always feel like curling my hair looks so much better with things like this because it has like more volume but i don't know let me know in the comments if you like this how cute though okay and then i got a couple of gym pieces so i picked up these leggings which look incredible they're like ribbed so it looks like such thick stretchy material and it's got misguided down one of the legs um so i picked up those and then i got this like jacket to wear with it i feel like this is going to be so lovely i really like the material you can just tell it's really thick it's got like the holes here for your thumbs and then i also picked up this sports bra but feeling it now i'm not sure if it's going to be that supportive i literally have to have sports bras that are so supportive it's just so annoying if you know any really good brands for really supportive sports bras please let me know in the comments because yeah i'm on the hunt i literally haven't found one yet and i do you know when you can look at one and feel it and i just know this isn't going to give me much support it's quite stretchy i feel like this is a really good sports bra just to wear in the day it looks like a comfy one so yeah i mean you never know accessory wise so the first thing is something to work out with um i got this band here and there's so many things that you can do with this it's, you're meant to basically put your legs through it um, and it's really good to do exercises for, like squats and stuff like that so yeah i don't know what the technical term is for this a booty band <laughs> and then jewelry wise i always have to pick up jewelry i feel like miss guided does the cutest jewelry so these are the two necklaces i got i feel like i might wear them together like how cute will this look like that oh my god i love that and i can wear this with the pearl necklace with my pearl jumper i love that so yeah these are the necklaces i got and then the last thing were these sunglasses oh, i quite like these these are like different than any other ones that i've got at the moment but i quite like them what do you think they're quite different but i don't know i like that i'm really happy with everything and i can't wait to shoot it all and just feel a lot more ready for spring so thank you so much misguided for sending over everything i'll leave links to everything i showed you in the description box down below i feel like i say this all the time but sometimes i get a lot of comments like have you linked things so yeah everything will be linked anyway i am going to edit for a little bit upstairs and show you guys the bathroom because i know you've been waiting <laughs> so yeah let's go do that do you love it I can actually use this, can I? Will it break it? Maybe, just because I'm so strong, I could probably have really heavy weights. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, I'm just obsessed with it. I'm so happy I didn't get the other one. I'm happy the other one was out of stock. Because yeah. I feel like this one's so different. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I was explaining, when you said you got something for this bit, yeah. I was thinking of a circle. Yeah, no, it was meant to be. And then I saw it a bit over and I was like, <laughs> no, it was meant to be the circle one and then it was out of stock until April. It's like you're on a surfboard. Mm. Is this going to be your new nap place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or the swing. Let's just see me. When I'm reading. I'll see you like the swing now. I've always liked it. No. It's gold. You said to me, well, why go to swing? Okay, I'm going to leave you here now. Have, have a nice life. Thanks. See you in the morning. <laughs> see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. Little toes. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. Good okay, have a nice sleep then. Have a nice laugh. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. 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 See you on the other side. <laughs> see you on the other side. Oh, that's cute. What? I've never seen this. Aww. <laughs> I know, 
it's little bum. No, don't take it out. No, just... Look, turn it around. It's little bum. <laughs> Why? Why not? Oh. I know. That's why I've turned it round. Oh, no, is it meant it... to be like this? That's like the design, yeah, but I kind of... Can you stop? Because you're really messy with the pampas. Okay, who's ready for the bathroom reveal? Da, 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 da. This is just my dream bathroom, honestly. That is dreamy as it can get for a rented house, basically. So, as you can see, this is very um, YouTube and film friendly. So, I've got my tripod here. Before... I was filming in here, you guys were balancing on the radiator. <laughs> so I'm glad I got something more practical, even though it doesn't look the nicest, but it's a really tall tripod. So it's a sacrifice I'll happily make. So as you walk in, this is just the ensuite. It looks like this. We've got a really cute frame here, some flowers. These are the flannels and then my normal towel and then my hair towel. I've got hooks here for my face halos, which I love. So over here is my makeshift DIY light mirror. So as you can see, this bathroom, the wall is slanted here. So if I stand in the bathroom, this is like what you can see. <laughs> so I had to get a mirror here, which was like two pounds from Tesco's. So I could stick it on um, and it looks like that behind. I bought these lights from Amazon. They were literally, they were, I think they were at 12 pounds for two. And I have this control, which changes a lot. Like, I mean, look at the difference. How cool is this? Um, so you can change it from like cooler tone to warmer tone, which is really good. Um, these are the tiles that me and Brady put up ourselves. So these are like spongy tiles, really easy. They're like stickers, so you pull them off, stick them on. Um, they're quite easy to cut as well, so we cut them for here. However, they weren't the cheapest. So when it came to doing the shower, we went for a cheaper option and we basically just bought a vinyl sticker. Um, I think I used two rolls and it was only 15 pounds um, for one roll. So I think 30 pounds to like change this bathroom is pretty good. And we stuck it on and um, we had like this special like spatula thing to get rid of any air bubbles and bits and bobs like that. I mean, it's not the neatest. It's not done by professionals, but we rent where we live. And when we buy, we know we want to like splurge and get really nice marble and stuff like that. But I mean, just for now, I feel like it looks really lovely. It was a really fun project to do as well. It was a little bit stressful, not going to lie. It was a little bit stressful, but it was actually something fun to do during lockdown. And every time I look at it, I just feel proud that we done it. So yeah, I'm so happy with the shower. We've got a cabinet here full of products. We've got my Lumi Spa, toothbrushes and bits and bobs like that. That's the bath tray that was downstairs. We've got a gold one now, but I kind of don't want to get rid of this one. I think I might paint this. I don't know where I'll put it. And then I bought this like marble table from eBay. And then what I'm going to do is roll some towels to go in the bottom here. Um, and then I want to get some like cute baskets to go in the middle shelf for like my products because at the moment they're just a little bit loose. So I think if I get some baskets, it will look really cute. Something like this maybe, but like smaller. But yeah. This is our bathroom and I'm just honestly, honestly so pleased with it. I can't believe it's our bathroom. Like when I walk in and I like see the marble, it makes me so happy because it was black before. It was okay. I mean, I don't think we had a bad bathroom, but I just feel like this makes it look 10 times better. And for the aesthetic of filming, I love it. Um, sorry, I'm just so bloated. I'm not pregnant. I'm just so bloated at the moment. So I'm like, <laughs> let's cover that up. So yeah, this is what the bathroom looks like. I am just so pleased with it. And I feel like the lights have made such a difference as well. Honestly, if I turn them off, like this is what I was filming with before. So now I've got them. I just think, how did I not have them before? It's just made such a difference. And I'm honestly so happy with it. And it just goes to show you can do things like this to your bathroom on a budget. You don't have to splurge and spend a lot of money. Like that only cost me £30. And it was a bit stressful, but you get there in the end. And honestly, you just feel so good after it. And I feel like I've 
done a really good task <laughs> I'm proud of myself so yeah every time I come in here I get so excited and it makes me want to like keep it clean more and just keep it tidy so yeah really liking it anyway I'm gonna sit on the bed edit while Bradley is downstairs playing some sort of game on the Xbox not too sure what watch some telly and then yeah I don't know what we've got for dinner tonight but I'll let you guys know this vlog isn't ending here by the way so don't go I'm gonna carry on this vlog tomorrow as well um but yeah I hope it's not too long but I know you guys like long videos so yeah turn the lights off now like can you believe I actually used to film like this before crazy absolutely crazy hello everyone so it is now it's been a few days since i've actually spoken to you when did i last speak to you was it when i was showing you i think i was showing you the ensuite upstairs but to be honest with you i wanted to film yesterday but we just didn't do much to be honest we literally stayed at home we were in the garden on the swing literally all day because it was so hot like we were in shorts and it was so bizarre because it's like Feb, so like, I, it was just really strange. But yeah, we were just in the garden all day really and we just wanted to chill because obviously it was Saturday so um, we just didn't want to do a lot. So I'm actually uploading this video on the day it goes live, um, which I always find really strange. I don't know why, I feel like it's always really strange. I am just getting ready, it's currently half past eight in the morning. Um, I woke up at seven, like half seven, and I've just been getting ready <laughs> ever since, really, because I mentioned that we are shooting. We were going to shoot yesterday, but, oh, is somebody at the door? We were going to shoot yesterday, but we just wanted to chill at home. It was such a nice day, and it's a bit more overcast today, which is actually better for shooting i find i find sometimes when there's a lot of sunlight and the sun's in and out the pictures look different and the shadows are annoying so when it's like overcast i really like the lighting i find it really good so yeah it just made sense to do it today and we're also going to pick up a roast which i'm so excited about because we love a sunday roast and then yeah that's literally our day today so we're not going to do much but i thought i would just do my hair with you pick my outfits out for shooting and then get going okay we're now in my wardrobe room <laughs> i'm like youtube room wardrobe room oh, this necklace always twists and it's so annoying so i've just curled my hair um i like to leave it just to cool down a little bit before i brush it out so i'm probably gonna leave it i don't know i'll probably pick my outfits and then I'll brush it out um, after. And then I always put a roller in my fringe bit just to give it a little bit of volume. Um, but anyway, I need to pick what I'm gonna wear today. It's so hard like when you're shooting because we shoot in like one place, but I try and get as many like different shots, but I don't wanna constantly change outfits because there's always so many people walking past. So I think I'm going to like wear white jeans and then just change like my top and my jacket and like coat. That's my vibe. So, this, okay, white jeans, that. Okay, so I've picked all of my clothes ready to shoot with. Oh, the bed isn't made. So yeah, I've picked all my clothes to sheet with. Brady's just put them in the car now. Sorry, I'm trying not to slip because there's literally so much stuff everywhere. And yeah, I'm like all out of breath. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. Okay, we're in the car. Whoop, whoop. The clothes are in the back here. The doggies are here. We are, oh, why do I look so pale? We're gonna go to Starbucks first which I'm very excited about, but I kind of want to order a new drink. Do you reckon they do oat milk? Maybe. I'd be surprised. Sure, I think they do, yeah. Because I don't like almond milk. So I'm, sure they, I'm sure I've seen them do it now. Okay, because I kind of want like a cold oat milk ice latte. Um, no whipped cream though, because I'm trying to be good. Um, so yeah, we're going to go there, maybe pick up Brecky. I hate eating before a shoot. I just feel like... 
We're not eating because we're so Oh yeah, we've got roast, haven't we? So we don't even need to... Our coffee will be fine then. Um, and I've got an Ella, deliciously Ella bought, oh, in okay. case we get hungry. Yeah. So yeah, that's the plan. Are you excited? I am It's a nice day really today, excited. isn't it? It's lovely weather. Something to do to get out of the house. Can't exactly. Happen. Yay. Good vibes today. Always good And Bradley vibes. looks so nice today. Thanks. Handsome. I made an effort. Made an effort. And I didn't even dress you. You did <laughs> That is a surprise, isn't it? Mm, I didn't wash my face and now I've got sleep in my eyes. Oh, no. You're good at washing your face. No. I will. Do it later. I come my for coffee. just shot for Instagram you can see the clothes here slightly unsuccessful didn't love the pictures and I'm so hungry so I think next time I need to make sure I eat before and yeah I'm just like oh so I think we're gonna come back next weekend and do some more then I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe sorry about the lighting here um, and i'll see you on tuesday and on tuesday i've actually got a tesco's f and f haul going live which i'm really excited about because we got good bits didn't we yeah tesco's. Got a lot. um so yeah that'd be love them but thank you for watching bye bye